just went kaplooey. <coughs> Stink. Sorry, I don't have the other. I'm so sorry, Dwayne. Come on, baby. Ah. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. And you're good. Okay. How many of us enjoy suffering? <laughs> How many of us enjoy suffering? I think if we took an inventory of our lives, whenever we're faced with two paths, either suffering lane or comfort road, how often do we choose suffering lane? I think if we're honest with ourselves, most often we choose comfort road. We choose what's easiest. We choose the path of least resistance, least hardship. But I think because we so often choose comfort road, we never get to experience the pot of gold that might lie at the end of suffering lane. You know, Moses, he had, he, he had to face that crossroads himself. Moses grew up in Egypt. Egypt at that time was one of the most wealthiest nations. Pharaoh was the most mightiest man on the face of this planet. And Moses got to grow up in his, his own household. Mm -hmm. Underneath Pharaoh, yeah. he was wealthy. He was prestigious. He learned all the wisdom he could gain from the, from the Egyptian empire. And yet, as he looked across, he saw people who looked just like him, who were being oppressed. Mm -hmm. They were, they, were, they, were, they were under such intense labor that there was hardly any way they could even endure it. They were abused verbally. They were badmouthed. They were called lazy. They were beaten physically. And even most severe, every single male child that was born in their family, they were killed. Wow. And Moses watched this happen. And he had to make a choice. Do I choose the life of wealth, the life of prestige, or do I choose to identify with these people who are being oppressed, who are suffering? Let's open our Bibles to Hebrews 11, and we'll see what path he chose. Let's go. Hebrews 11, verse 24 says, By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God, rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short, for a short time. He regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt, because he was looking ahead to his reward. By faith, he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who was invisible. Moses chose suffering. He chose to be identified with the group of people who were being oppressed, who were being beaten. He refused to be known as Pharaoh's daughter. And he left Egypt facing opposition from the most powerful man on earth. He chose suffering. How did he do it? Well, according to this passage, it was by faith. It was by faith that he, that he was able to endure such opposition, such oppression. And it was by faith that he was able to confront Pharaoh in all of his anger and still walk away faithful. It was by faith. You know, what is faith? In verse 1, we know that faith is confidence in things hoped for and assurance of what we do not see. You know, let's take a look at this passage and let's see what we can learn about, how, how, about faith and see how faith enabled Moses to endure. So we can, too, we can too learn how to endure suffering for God. Amen? Amen? My first point is value the reward. Value the reward. You know, the main reason why I think we, we cower, I know for me definitely under hardship, it's because I'm so focused on the pain that I feel at the present moment and not the benefits. You know, when I was a child, I used to hate needles. I used to be so afraid of needles. Because when I was walking into that office, I knew that once that needle went to my flesh, there was going to be such pain that I would squirm and I would not want to face it at all. But now, I get shots regularly. I hardly think about it. <laughs> Forget me. Forget me. Because I understand that I want to be healthy. I don't want different diseases. 
different things I can catch as a result of not getting that shot. Great. Time coming.